All right, so welcome back folks to the Wanneroo channel. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at some steel targets that I got off of Amazon. Um, we're gonna kind of uh, look over them real quick. I'm gonna get them set up and then we're gonna be shooting them. Um, probably what I'll end up doing is um, shooting this target kind of over a period of a week or so, put a lot of rounds on it and we'll see how it kind of holds up. But before we get into it, one thing I do wanna show you is Today, it is the nicest day out here. So I'll just readjust the camera. And it is a beautiful day, 60 degrees, sun's out, hardly a cloud in the sky. Um, actually got some nice weather, the wind isn't all that bad. We've just had one of those winters and springs where the weather is like you get four seasons in one day almost. And it's just been crazy with snow, a lot of wind. Um, just all sorts of stuff. It's just been a lot of rain. Um, so it's been, it's been something else. So hopefully as we get into May here, the weather will start to calm down a little bit. But anyway, so um, th these targets were from a company called High Wild. And uh, basically uh, how this all kind of came about was um, I've got some guests that are coming uh, tomorrow and we're going to be doing a bit of shooting and they've been here to the range before and you know i've got um, different targets and stuff already set up but i thought wouldn't it be great if i get kind of a new target just for something different to shoot and um, something new you know and looking at kind of my usual supplier i usually get um, the steel i've bought in the past is from shootsteel.com uh, i believe it is when i um, looked at their website it looked like the shipping was going to just take too long to get here and usually with Amazon Prime, if something's in the warehouse, um, they can usually get it to you in two to three days. So that was kind of a factor in, uh, in, in why I went ahead and bought these. So the target I got is the hostage target. Basically, you got one popper behind the head there. You got one popper center mass. And then it also comes with a hanger there. You can see on the right side. So apparently it is AR-500 steel so that that we will definitely kind of find out um, it's 3 8 inch so for me i'm just going to use this specifically for pistol my preference is that if i'm going to shoot rifle i'm going to go with the ar 500 steel that's at least a half an inch um, and pretty much keep it out at 100 yards plus um, you know uh, whatever your preference is that's my preference um, that's what i kind of choose to go with so this is going to be for pistol only um, but we are going to hammer it hard with some 357 Magnum, some 45 ACP, a uh, little bit higher velocity, uh, 9 mil, um, so um, that I make for carbines and stuff with hand loads. Um, so we're, we're going to hammer on this uh, pretty good, and we're going to see how it holds up. Um, probably at a minimum before I release this video, I'm going to hammer this with, um, uh, with at least 500 rounds. Okay, so... We're just not gonna tap it a couple times and call it a day. So anyways, um, basically they send you the target here. They have paint on it, but one thing I noticed is that some of the paint is already kind of flaking off, but that's no problem. Um, Cause as we shoot it, I'll just uh, paint it with, uh, with Rust-Oleum basically. And you know, I just, you know, spray paint the hell out of the target or whatever. So th all that paint that they have on it now, that all rapidly get covered up anyways. Um, but looking at the target, it looks pretty good. Like I said, supposedly it is AR-500 steel. Um, these are made in China. So, you know, um, I guess it's just one of those things. Uh, personally, for me, I try to buy American um, when I can. Obviously, with a lot of the stuff we buy, um, that always isn't possible. Or a lot of times there are better options from overseas. Um, so, you know, uh, I guess it's worth trying. And we'll give it a shot and we'll see how they actually do and how they hold up. The other thing that I bought with it, you can see in the back there, is I bought a target stand for it. So some of the hardware that comes with it is for use with their other steel targets. Um, so perhaps, uh, I think the thing was, is you can buy the legs of the stand itself um, separate, but the way it was set up with Prime, they didn't have that available. It was gonna take for like another week or two to get it. So I just went ahead and bought the thing with the extra hardware and uh, maybe I'll just get the separate stand in the future and make another steel target out of that. But it's got basically the hardware with another spring and um, uh, all that, I guess for, you know, like a little 
a uh, little circular um, um, target or something like that. So anyways, I guess the next thing is I'll get this all put together and we'll actually see what it looks like. All right, so we're back uh, with the high wild target stand we just put together. So, so far I'm liking the design. I put it down on the ground, it's very stable. Now, one thing they also include is a, there's a other bolt here where basically what you can do is you can drill right through there, um, the two by four, and you can basically put that bolt through, I guess, for additional stability. But basically what they give you is you see where the two by four goes in. There's like a steel tab that you insert down in there. And then there's a set screw that you use an Allen key with. And then you use that to tighten it down to get it all basically nice and tight in there. And then these uh, two bolts uh, with lock washers and washers, um, basically those go all the way through. And so I got those all tightened down. So basically, um, if we take this, we'll put it down on the ground here. So far, um, nice and stable, you know. Um, I'm kind of, I'm liking the design. It's got nice long legs and all that, so we'll see how it does when I, when I put the, the heavy steel target on it and see how it holds up, but so far looking good. Okay, so back again. So um, the top part of this with the 2x4 uses a similar system uh, with the steel tab you insert and then a little set screw to kind of tighten it down. Um, it also came with two other screws. These must be for some other mounting system that they use for another type of target. So I just put them in there so that they're there in case I, you know, whatever that system or setup is for, I don't know. But uh, the screws will be there if uh, some, for whatever reason, I change it out. You can see that the paint that they originally used is kind of flaking off pretty fast. So like I said, I'll, I'll basically, um, you know, use Rust-Oleum and, you know, every time I use the steel targets, I pretty much, um, you know, spray paint them anyways. So this, this target will probably look a lot different here pretty soon. So anyways, yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty good so far. I mean, from, you know, the setup I, I kind of like compared to other systems I've used. That seems pretty stable. I like that they give you this tab because obviously with two by four, sometimes there's some dimensional differences or, you know, maybe the two by four is wet or cold or dry or whatever. And there's some slight variation. So you can use those set screws to kind of tighten it down good and get the tension that you want. The other thing too is that there's holes in each of the legs there you can drive a stake through. Probably what I'd prefer to do is maybe just get some sandbags and and check them on there. So, you know, that, that'll probably be the idea. But anyways, yeah, um, so far looking good. Uh, we'll see how these welds hold up and stuff and, you know, we'll just see how it goes over time. So, like I said, I'll put probably at least uh, 500 rounds on it and uh, see how it goes and then uh, you know also too in the future I can always come back and, and look at it again as well to see how it holds up over time. I personally I don't bring my steel targets in it's too much of a pain in the butt so I basically just cover everything in rust-oleum and um, you know just just leave them outside so that they're ready to go um, you know and uh so far they seem to hold up okay so that's what i'll do with this one it's not going to get any special treatment or anything so well there we go so next up we'll be shooting it Okay, so we're taking a look at the high wild target. Uh, we just uh, shot the crap out of it. 357 Magnum 
some 45 ACP and then uh, the CZ Scorpion uh, shot a couple mags with 147 grain and then also some 124 grain on it and so this is their um, you know apparently it's AR 500 and all that so you know pretty much uh, looking pretty good uh, we've also shot on a few other weekends probably this target now I'd say has I'd say at least seven eight hundred rounds on it uh, maybe more so it's been painted several times right now all I have is uh, some uh, purple property line paint but um, anyways I'm gonna coat it with rust-oleum here shortly but uh, yeah seems to be holding up pretty good um, I like this the stand here um, the stand is kind of taking a pounding with the uh, rain and the mud and all that seems to be holding up okay and kind of uh, making a bit of a mess there with the mud and then the back of it here that's been shot up pretty good um, it looks like the welds where it's welded there that seems to be holding up okay I don't see any cracks or anything like that so that seems to be all right and the stand seems to be doing good so yeah so far so good it just needs kind of a new coat of paint after uh, shooting it up so much but um, uh, yeah it seems to be doing the job so I can't really complain so so far pretty happy with it So yeah, just need to put some more paint on it. Should be good to go for the next round. folks um, just wanted to wrap up the video on the high wild AR 500 target and um, you know this has performed really well so the first part of the video you saw I think that was early May or so so it's probably been at least seven weeks since I've had this target and I gotta say it's it's uh, held up real well I actually just painted it here with some purple property marker paint that I have because uh, I'm all out of rust-oleum right now and um, yeah um it's it's done real well everything has held up on it good haven't seen any deficiencies with it at all um it's performed just you know i don't have any sort of way to test the hardness or whatever but it seems to perform just like any other ar 500 steel um so yeah um absolutely no issues with it at all um the durability of it is so far it's held up good uh, I like the stand a lot. The stand is uh, is nice and stable. Um, I have chucked a couple extra rocks on it. I did that at the very beginning, um, but yeah, it hasn't hasn't really wobbled a bit. So it's stayed. It's been in that place now for you know seven weeks. Hasn't budged. So very happy. I mean, I like I said, I can't really fault it at all. And um, everything also on the back here is held up. Um, haven't had any issues with the welds up there at the top or anything or um, where the hangers kind of sit in and uh, I, I like the uh, mounting hardware that they give you with it um, Compared to some other stuff that I've used in the past. So, you know, pretty 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 happy with that um, Yeah, it's it's done real well. So, you know, we'll continue to shoot, shoot the crap out of it and um, you know, if there is any issue in the future or whatever, you know, I'll certainly bring it up. But um, if you are interested in purchasing it, um, check out the links, the Amazon links I've posted. Um, if you purchase it through that, uh, kicks back a little commission to the channel. 
um, to help support the channel so we keep cranking out reviews and videos. And um, yeah, any questions that you have or any comments, uh, feel free to leave them below. And uh, you know, definitely we plan on doing some more videos in the future. And uh, you know, I'm certainly open to trying other um, companies' steel targets as well. Um, so that's you know something I'll look into as I kind of fill out the range. So kind of the goal. Um, this range has been kind of a you know long work in progress. It looks very different from the winter time up here. Um, but I'm standing right now basically on the pistol range and because of the uh, elevation change um, Essentially with the gradient and all that uh, The bedrock is um, I can't remember exactly how many feet down, but it's, it's four or five feet down So you can't dig into it too much. So this flat area here. This is the pistol range is still being worked on and then all of our rifle stuff is up there so Eventually, the goal is to add some more steel targets, take out some of those pines up there, um, and kind of expand that out a bit. And so over time, I'm going to add some more uh, steel targets in here um, at different distances and all that. And especially maybe up there to try to push that back up a bit so we can get, get some more range. And then eventually all this here, this is all going to get kind of more better graded and... Uh, a different type of gravel put in and, and a little bit of a smoother surface because you know it's a little bit rough with kind of the varying river bank and stuff like that so that's kind of the plan but yeah again real happy with the target uh, if you're interested in purchasing it check out the link uh, below and uh, yeah we're, we're working on uh, more videos so stay tuned and uh, thanks y'all have a good one